So I read this article on Music Business Worldwide uh, recently, and it just shows you how much of a nerd I am, but this one really excites me because this one has to do with embedding a, it's called a sonic key, 11 digit sort of code that will essentially identify every recorded piece of audio that will go through the system and it would solve the black box problem. If you don't know what the black box problem is, is basically all the identified, unidentified artists in the world that have their songs played on radio and they're not getting their royalty checks properly or public, you know, you know uh, radio royalties. Um, they're not getting those checks properly cut to them because the money lends up in limbo. There's no associated artist or producer of the song, sometimes when it gets played, things like that. So if you're an artist or producer and you care about getting paid, you should also be very excited about this technology. So you don't just have to be a technical nerd like myself or an audio engineer that uh, would really get into this deep and understand how this works. But let me kind of break it down a little bit. And this truly could revolutionize the way uh, royalties are being paid through radio, venues, and things like that, but it doesn't complete the full solution of just being able to always identify who's the rightful owner of each song and how the splits or the payments should be made or who should be licensing it or maybe not be able allowed to play a piece of song because you don't hold the license or you don't have Spotify, you don't have some type of a program that is licensed to play that type of song. So let me, let me get into it. What's going on guys, my name is Matei, another day from Music Biz Daily. If you wait till the end of this video, um, I'll tell you what I have going on uh, this month. Also, uh, what uh, me and my team can help you with in terms of your music career, if you're a producer, DJ, or whatever. So let, wait for that till the end of the video. But let me get into this um, technology that I got from this article in Music Business Worldwide. So uh, it was one of the older members of YouTube band, I think an engineer that created this technology, it's called the Sonic Key, right? And it embeds an 11 digit code somehow into the song uh, that is then recognizable by, by any radio station if they're using their system, any PRO, which is the, uh, the right, you know, copyright right, right holders organizations. Um, and essentially it would solve the issue they're claiming that all the money that's not being able to be distributed every single year um, to all the rightful owners, writers, publishers, or whatever of certain records that are played on radio or, or music venues or department stores or, or businesses, restaurants that are streaming music but are not actually paying for the right license. This system would detect who's on the song, who the song belongs to, what are the splits potentially, who should be paid and whatnot, and then it would basically streamline the way uh, PROs could pay out these royalties, right? Now, when I started reading this, I was super excited because I thought they, somebody finally figured out how to embed some type of a frequency into the audio or something that as long as you record your song and master it with like uh, Pro Tools or a Logic or some of these, you know, f uh, well-recognized um, uh, uh, audio softwares, that once the song is put out, and no matter if it's played on YouTube, radio, a physical venue, a restaurant, Spotify, Spotify or whatever, it would have some type of an undetectable or something that our human ears couldn't detect, some type of a code in it, which would always make sure that whosoever song it is would be getting paid properly for it. Just like sort of the video game industry figured out embedding certain information into video games where it's very difficult to bootleg video games. I know, you know, a lot of people have figured it out, but it's not as easy as you would think. And there's just a lot of different ways uh, the music industry is trying to protect itself or the, 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 own, you know, the owners of the records to be able to get paid all the time. So this doesn't solve the full solution, but I guess it takes care, it could take care of the uh, unpaid royalties which they call the black box problem for radio, physical venues, and any major organizations that do play music and that uh, run through the same systems as the radio station would, uh, like with blanket licenses to pay the rightful writers, owners, and whatever, this could solve that problem because apparently it's a nine-figure problem. We're talking a billion plus dollars every year that potentially just get redistributed back to all the artists and producers that had their paperwork right and had their songs registered correctly and all of that. So, you know, this could solve the issue. So I don't wanna to get too deep into it. You can read the article for yourself. I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description, but that's it. 
Um, so again, it's a partial solution in my opinion. Hopefully in the next couple of years, whether it's NFTs that do it or some type of a technology, like a sound technology that embeds some frequencies that our ears can't hear, but every standardized player or service will be able to recognize, could then identify the rightful owners of the song. Until that's invented, we're not gonna solve the issue, but this could solve a lot of issues and get a lot of extra money into a lot of artists' pockets. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you wanna know how me and my team can help you, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you hit the link in the bio. Make sure you check out our Indie Artist Accelerator because in there we talk about strategies and blueprints and how to take your career to the next level. If you're in the music industry, hey, you could be a manager maybe, trying to help artists, definitely be in that community. Check me out weekly on Twitch, every Monday with Clinton Sparks on his show, Win Big with Clinton Sparks. We got a segment called uh, Music Biz Weekly where we talk about uh, uh, things like these and just like newest things coming up in the industry that artists, producers, and DJs can take advantage of to you know, win big, essentially. And um, I'm gonna be in Atlanta early August, August 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, doing some big things with some of our clients on a tour that they're on. Uh, next month at the Accelerator, we got an accountant coming in and doing a class for every, any like, you know, position in the music industry, audio engineer, studio owner, label owner, musician, uh, DJ, whatever, teach you about accounting, how to properly account for your expenses, taxes at the end of the year, all that stuff. So definitely make sure you check that class out. And if you follow me on YouTube, thank you for your support. Like the video, dislike it, comment on it. Let me know what else you would like me to talk about uh, another subject. And if you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure that notification icon. So that way, if I respond to your request on the video, you get a notification that I did a video on that. Do the same thing on Instagram as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next day for another day of Music Biz Daily. Until then, peace. Thank <laughs> you.